Isaia slams the tri-state area with torrential rain, hurricane force winds, even a tornado. The fast-moving storm now being blamed for at least one death. The storm has downed trees and wires, leaving more than one million power customers in the dark. And there is a major mass transit delay and shutdown as well. Good evening. I'm Christine Johnson. I'm Maurice Dubois. This fast-moving storm pounded the region for most of the day. And as we mentioned, one of the big problems has been falling trees. Check out this video right here from Wyckoff, New Jersey. A tree came crashing down on a mail truck at Carlton Road and Wyckoff Avenue. Luckily, the driver was not hurt. And there is widespread damage across the tri-state area tonight. We'll have a look at it, all of it in our live team coverage. Let's begin with Lonnie Quinn. He's in the Weather Center with the latest. Lonnie. Okay, I'll get right to it then. Here's what we are looking at outside right now. We've seen some rapid improvement in New York City. Temperature <laughs> now that that's the big story today, but it's 75 degrees. Winds are sustained out of the southwest at 25 miles per hour. You have some gusts that are significantly stronger than that. I'll show you all of that in just a moment. But first, we go to the 5 o'clock update on Tropical Storm. I say yes, and it's interesting because this storm came on shore around North Carolina. Since North Carolina, it's been over land. It never popped back out into the ocean. It's been over land, and yet still holding on to its strength. 65 mile per hour winds at this point in time, and it's 20 miles to the west of Albany, New York. Now, what's interesting here, remember yesterday I told you don't focus on that sexy number of the wind speed. This is what you want to know about the forward progress of the storm. It's moving to the north northeast at a crazy speed, 40 miles per hour. That means it comes in, it gets out quicker, and we we don't have to deal with it as long. Center of circulation right now, you can see it's right here. So it's right around Ulster County. Uh, bigger winds are being pushed on shore for the South Shore, but the rain is done. Basically, everybody is done with the big rain. But look at this. The storm came on into our area, followed this track. And if yesterday, you remember me telling you, if you're on the right-hand side of the track, you're going to get the big wind. And that's what all of these little icons are. Wind, tropical storm force winds all up into New Hampshire and Vermont. On the left-hand side is where you would see the big rain reports. And that's what we see as far as like three-inch readings, five-inch readings in our area, but west of that track line. Winds currently blowing in ice up at 48 miles per hour, 51 for Greenwich. As you look ahead, guys, you still have high surf out there and strong rip currents. Coastal flooding has been minor to moderate because the storm did not come in coincided with the high tide. High tide takes place in Asbury Park, for example, at 852. The storm is done in Asbury Park, and that's where we're going to find my colleague John Elliott right now. John, did you see any coastal flooding? Because again, you didn't have your high tide with the big push of water. No, Lonnie, and you make a great point. Timing really was an ally with this storm. High tide coming in tonight, 850 here in Asbury Park. They're concerned about some dangerous waves, but you also talk about the contrast and the speed of this storm. Here we are, sunny skies, winds are starting to slow down. Take a look and a listen to what we were dealing with today at noon. We just had a wind here at 56 miles an hour. Closer to the shore, you just get pelted by all of that sand. One saving grace, you don't have high tide until about 8.30 tonight, so that will help. Big waves crashing in, dangerous waves. There are lifeguards posted over here at the casino, but obviously the beach is closed. Stuff is flying around. So in the last hour, we've had gusts close to 45 miles an hour. That is not a gust. That is not a sustained wind. Show you real quickly the waves still coming in at 5 p.m. Moments ago, they opened the beach to surfers. We will likely see some surfers not open to the public yet. But again, Lonnie, you said it, a big contrast as the skies are bright and the winds are dying down. We'll have another report coming in around 530 right now, though. We'll send things right back to Christine. All right, John. Thank you. Glad you're all right.